Because what you're doing as you're coming down, your foot is twisting, yeah. right? Yeah. Which tells me there's too much turn and not enough sway, okay. right? So I'll do it in slow motion, right? So think about it in terms of, right, we'll go through the process again. You put your hands on. You go through the process with the posture. Also, when you're setting up to it, try and get your toes turned out a little bit, right? Don't want your toes straight. Toes turned out a little bit. And then that helps you turn going back, okay. and then it helps you turn coming through, right? So you're gonna put your hands on, go through the process with your posture, arms on your rib cage, club head down, knees down, bend forward from your pelvis, right? When you set up to it, I want you to try and get your pelvis more over your front foot. So you're gonna, you're gonna sway your pelvis a bit more towards the target. As you're doing that, the shaft is gonna lean forward a little bit, right? And then on the way back, all we're doing is we focus on the left shoulder and left hip and left knee going down, all right? And then as we come through, what you're gonna focus on is the pelvis. Obviously, you turn away from the target on the backswing. You wanna to turn towards the target on the way through. But primarily, the reason why you're spinning on your back foot is because you're focusing on turning your pelvis instead of turning and swaying your pelvis, all right? The pelvis, we want to sway towards the target with the rotation together. So we want lateral rotation, right? So set up to it, a little bit of sway in the, in the setup. That le leans the shaft forward. We're gonna, we're gonna go back, focus on the left shoulder, left hip, left knee going down. Left shoulder, hip and knee going down. That eliminates the sway going back and then we're gonna sway the pelvis towards the target coming through. So I'll go slow, watch my pelvis. There's impact, look how forward the shaft's leaning. So if the shaft's leaning forward, you're gonna hit the ball and then get the interact with the ground after the ball. And then you carry on moving the pelvis forward, forward, forward as you're turning. And then when you end up here, just a short little follow through, your pelvis has kind of moved forward and up combined with the turn, and that gives you the back bend. Show me that.